So what's up people and welcome back to a noob place lost ark Okay, so if you recall in our last episode we had uh, Encountered a civil war type situation between Prince Thyrain and that regent Sherrit or whatever that guy's name is and so Yeah, we defeated the army and uh, I think we need to talk to Thyrain again, so Let's start doing that Okay. All the harm done to the villagers is my fault. The Northwest fellow. He clearly said that the raiders will appear again. But you can't let them repeat such atrocities ever again. This time, we'll make the first move. The enemy is in camp south of the hill. I've been briefed by the scout. We can't just sit back and wait for the raid group to come. Let us defeat Sherrod's raid group. Well, I presume when you say let us defeat Sherrod's raid group, you want me to go there, right? <laughs> Not that I mind. The raid group is being supplied by Sherrod himself. They not only have a steadier stream of supplies than us, but also better quality weapons. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason to feel down about this. Well, I'm not particularly feeling down. We can just steal the good stuff from them. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Uh, there's one more side quest. <clears throat> Adventurer, is it true that you're going to attack the raid group? I know a thing or two about strategy, you see. The raid group is an exp expeditionary force, which means they always have to take supplies and rations with them. Yep, that makes sense. If you look around the encampment, you'll find water containers where they keep their pot potable water. How about you break them all to make them suffer from a water shortage? Okay, so we got our various quests. So let's go attack Everything that raid party. The oh, there's a bunch of them there, that's for sure. Oh, these guys are violent, eh? No, no. <laughs> I don't think this is the right way. This is the right way. Okay. Uh, oh, that was, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Oh, water barrel. I think I need to do that to another one. It's a nasty beast, but yeah, there he is. Oh! Whoa! There we go. Hey, good for the adventurer's tone. Need to find a weapons rack, right?
Where is the weapons rack? Oh, there we go. There. Okay, so... I think we just need to kill the uh, boss. There's the boss. Oh, that boss is pretty tough. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. We did everything. Let me just stick a little. Whoa! Well, nothing around here. Sorry, just taking a look around here. Oh, <laughs> my hit points were really low. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I saw one here. Okay, good. Yeah, I thought I saw a Makoko seed around here. Just couldn't remember where. Great job! Now maybe they'll be a little too thirsty to fight. 
Although we still can't face them head on in our current shape, this should change things up a bit. Every time they come to fill their canteens, we can ambush them. I think I make an outstanding strategist, don't you? I should apply to become an officer later. Oh wow, you brought us quite a fine assortment. Now our men should be able to put up a proper fight. That region fool, we really hit him where it hurts this time. Okay, so back to uh, Prince Thyrain. Good work. Now the village will be out of harm's way. As always, I have nothing but gratitude for Armin and you, for all that you've done. However, I... Never mind, we've got bigger problems to worry about. We've managed to defeat most of the enemies who raided Lake Bar. If it weren't for you, it would have taken much longer. However, the villagers' blood has been shed. I'd like to provide re recompense to the villagers of Lake Bar. Could you ask Chief Horden about the extent of the damage to the village? Chief Horden. Oh, okay. Greetings. I am Horden, the village chief. The damage to the village? Ten wounded, two killed. One of the casualties was only eight years old. If the prince hadn't responded quickly, many more would have perished. We have nothing but gratitude for his help. And he wants to compensate us? Could you tell him that he doesn't need to worry about that sort of thing? Well, they seem to like this uh, prince. Eight years old. He's only a child. How'd you know it was a he? Is that so? Even a young child like that. And all because of me. I couldn't even protect my own people. I failed them. At this rate, perhaps it's only to be expected that the Vanquisher does not glow. Apologies. I'd rather spend some time alone right now. Well, it seems Thyrain seems to be unnecessarily blaming himself for all of this. Hmm. Prince Thyrain appears devastated. It seems like he doesn't fully believe in himself. However, I think Prince Thyrain is perfectly suited to become the king. Could we find out exactly why he doesn't seem to have much confidence in himself? Okay, talk to these guys. Eh? Prince Thyrain really values his people this feels like the end times we need a crown dad says a king needs to wear a crown this crown probably will turn into another quest i would think oh, he probably blames himself for all the atrocities Regent Sherrod has been causing in the kingdom. Oh, he's the last one? Okay. I see. I've heard how chaos has swept across Lutera. It's because of the tyranny of Re Regent Sherrod, isn't it? Prince Thyrain must believe that the people are suffering because of him. 
However, the people don't seem to think that way. How could we relay that message? Hmm. Evriana, do you know the fable of the Iron Crown? I've read it myself before. I hear it's a famous tale in Lutera. There was once a prince who was beloved by everyone. The people gathered their scrap iron to make a crown for this prince. The prince graciously accepted the crown and used it during his crowning ceremony. Like the story, perhaps we could show Prince Thyrain how the people really feel. Could you ask Chief Hordern about what he thinks? Okay, back to Chief Hordern again. Crown? Are you talking about a steel crown? Actually, we've been meaning to pay back Prince Thyrain for his help as well. I guarantee that not a single villager would oppose this idea. We all seen how distressed the prince was over us. However, I'm worried about the iron to make the crown. Considering how short supplies are right now, well, it would be a difficult to procure such materials, but we'd like to get the nicest crown we can for the prince. Could you perhaps drop the, by the Linus Memorial in the south? The peddlers are gathered there. We should ask for their support. In the meantime, I'll make the preparations to make the crown. Okay. Oh, okay. That's where they are. Let's go there. I remember a story once where people were criticizing the Everything army, the military, and they said so many people were killed. But then people who backed up the military said no, they were there so so many people were saved. And it's an interesting way to look at it, you know, in a sense that I think Thyrain would be... Uh, oh, let's keep on going with this. I think he would... Uh, I'm Phobos, the peddler. I'm not a child. I'm a proud peddler. Okay. Huh? A crown for the Prince Thyre? You're asking us if we can make this contributions? Are you seriously asking us if we can do this? Of course we can. <laughs> okay. I'm a merchant of Lutera, the kingdom of courage. Don't you ever underestimate us. Okay. This is all the money I have. I hope the folks at the Lake Bar Village will keep their chins up. Why don't you try asking the other peddlers as well? I'm sure they'll help. Okay. <laughs> Crown? <laughs> ah, that's an interesting story. I'll gladly give you one if it's for Prince Thyrain. Definitely everybody seems to like Prince Thyrain. It's an investment. Prince Thyrain is definitely worth a big investment. Okay. Unlike Sherrod, he genuinely cares about his people. Take this too. So either the Thyrain is completely oblivious about his people or they don't really tell him much. Well, which may be royalties tends to be distanced from the common folk. Adventurer, have you heard of Linus the Legendary Peddler? I admire him so much. A long time ago, when Lutera was embroiled in war, he supplied the army to save Lutera without taking a single coin. He's a hero. All the peddlers of Lutera admire Linus, so we gather here on his memorial day in remembrance of his spirit. If you're interested, why don't you check out the memorial plaque? Okay, I presume that's up here. Those who invest in only what they see are fools. And those who invest for profit alone will not last. In people, there is worth beyond face value. 
Hmm. How was it? Maybe it all felt a little unfamiliar, since you're not a peddler. But I want to become an admirable gentleman of Lutera one day, just like him. Well, you do that. Maybe one day you'll see a majestic memorial of Phobos next to that one. Okay, we got a map, but I'm not going to look at it right now. at the village. Have you been to the peddlers? As expected, Lutera's merchants are quite different. I've told Ur, the Umar blacksmith, to craft a crown. Take this. The Umar people are famous for their master artisanship. Ur will certainly create a masterpiece. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Who are you? Uh, what's that? A crown for the prince? <laughs> and you've come to the right place. I'm Ur, the world's best Umar blacksmith, and don't let anyone tell you different. Well, hurry up, show me what materials I got to work with. Not bad, but also not enough. Unless this prince has the world's tiniest head. I need more materials to work with. Lucky for you, Lake Bar should have everything you need. Okay, well, take this. It's a secret recipe passed down by the Umars. If you want to create a great crown, gather up the ingredients here and deliver them to Mirin. Press B. Press L. Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm going to accept it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, I did get... I, uh, I think I got a pickaxe. But uh, I didn't know how to equip it. Yeah, I know there's ore out there, so maybe uh, we could look at that. Foraging is probably the most stable trade skill there is because herbs and mushrooms are easy to find during your adventure. Green Thumb will allow you to be the fastest forager in the field. Okay. Huh. Logging can only be performed in certain places in the field, but you will be able to obtain a massive amount of material at once. You can also work with other lumberjacks to cut down the tree and even more rewards. Okay. Mining is a trading skill that uses work energy most efficiently. Moonlight Miner and Mining Bomb consumes more work energy, but they'll fetch much better rewards. Okay. Okay, well, uh, what's excavating? 
Is that the same as mining? Excavating requires effort, but is very rewarding. Sonar and relic search allow you to find relics that are not visible to the naked eye. Excavation will grant you even more rewards if you hit the right spot. Okay. So it's a little bit different from mining. It's treasure hunting, I guess is what it is. We even have hunting. Huh. Hunting is a trade skill that requires the most delicate control in that you have to hit the moving prey using throw. As difficult as it may sound, there is no doubt that herding will, hunting will definitely make your adventure more fulfilling. Okay. Fishing might be boring, but it brings rich rewards. Use throw bait to increase your chance of success and net casting to catch several fish at a time. Okay. Well, lots of stuff. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I do have a pickaxe. I did buy a pickaxe, but I don't know how to equip it. No one here with that symbol. <laughs> okay. What do I do next? Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's F five. Huh. Not all that glitters is gold. Not everybody who holds a hammer is a master artisan. Not all who are born of a royal lineage can sit on the throne. Yeah, that's true. Nobility is achieved only by grinding and polishing the raw qualities of the royal. With that in mind, I will share with you the secret of how to get noble iron from a pile of scrap iron. First, we use molars of wild animals as fuel for the furnace. Using the molars as fuel strengthens the flame. The higher the temperature of the bellows, the easier it is to oxidize iron. The molars of Lake Boar are especially good as they are hard and waterproof. Second, there is a stannery method using crayon crystals. When heat is applied while iron and crayon crystals are mixed together, the impurities evaporate with the crayon crystals and only pure iron remains. The crayon crystals can very rarely be obtained while killing crayon roaming near Lake Bar. You are most li more likely to find it in Red Crayon rather than Ferocious Clan. Once enough molars and crayon crystals have been collected, then it should be pretty easy to extract pure iron. Well, easy for someone who knows what they're doing, best to leave the actual process to a master artisan or one of their apprentices. Okay. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Talk to the man. Uh, yeah, okay. I got a pickaxe. Well, might as well accept this. Feels like the end times. <laughs> oh, okay, it's this guy. No, it's this person. Awella. A song is passed down in Lake Bar of Lutera. Okay. When the moonlight shines over the crown, the sound of pickaxes drive the night out. To make a crown of the highest one, workers of the lowest position should take all the troubles. 
<laughs> that doesn't sound pretty good. Even in the hands of the workers who take care of life, there is a calling to lead history. Every Anna, at this historical moment, shall we go mining together. As long as you have the pickaxe, you can mine ore. Yeah, okay, sure. I didn't know how to use the pickaxe, so might as well learn. Oh, that was easy. I don't know why I couldn't... Oh, maybe it was because I had to start this to unlock the pickaxe. Hmm, I don't know. This time it sure felt easier. Okay. Uh, where are we supposed to go next? Oh, I know where it is for it. Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Okay. So let's go. Everything is fine at the village. Okay. to get the ores, right? Ah. Okay, I guess I have to fight this guy. Okay, now can I mine? Okay, that was relatively straightforward. Need three more. Okay, a little bit more. One more. Whoa. Ah, why can't I do my attack? Is it because I'm uh, holding a pickaxe? I, I, I'm not sure how to... How do I get rid of my pickaxe? I can't seem to attack. Oh. Oh. I guess uh, I have to press B. Well, that one I just pressed G and it got me there. Oh, okay. Okay, so. I guess B switches around from your trade skills to your uh, fighting skills. Okay, I think we gathered enough stuff. Okay.
Oh. I'm getting a bit tired here. Sorry. Is fine <laughs> it's late at night right now. Well, I want to finish this up. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where this trading thing is going, so... Oh, okay. I didn't even have to talk to Awella. I just don't know what's happening anymore. Well, this merchant for... No, that's not the merchant. Okay, well, uh, if I can't find the merchant, I'm just going to do the first quest and uh, worry about the second quest later. It's merchant Chapman. I don't know where he is. Anyway, so let's get one done at least. Well, after this, I think I will call it a night. There we go. Yeah, I'm not about to uh, re forget the triport. Uh, hello, I'm Mirin. Uh, I heard from Master Ur, you're uh, crafting a crown, aren't you? Molars and crown crystals, there should be enough to refine the iron. Here we go. A piece of shine. Wow, that was fast. A piece of shining iron. I hope it goes to the person who best fits the iron crown. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go back to see her. Oh, oh, that's Back great. Already? Okay, one fancy crown coming right up. Wow, this is going pretty quickly. These guys know how to work. The heck is that? Came out good. And <laughs> good for me is like a perfect masterpiece for anyone else. Take it. <laughs> How did that one uh... If you collect natural materials and bring them to a trade school expert like me, they can make you useful stuff. Okay. There are all sorts of trade skill experts out there. There are cooks, alchemists, you name it. Okay. Be sure to uh pay them a visit. We'll do. Now grab your crown and get going. I got work to do. Wow, so it must be a... D oh, what truly shines. Huh. Oh, we got the level up. I almost forget. Whoa. Getting a lot of things. Okay, oh, I have uh, enough points for raising one of my high moves. So, uh... Maybe we'll uh, upgrade this. Rain oh, range would be good for wind cutter. 
crit rate will be good too. Huh, don't know what this is. Oh well, anyway, uh, yeah, let's go with crit. Or not crit. <laughs> uh, range. Oh, this time it's fishing. Oh, Neria's Tavern. That's way back in Pride Home. I don't want to go all the way back there. Not at, not, not right now. Okay, we might do that offline. What is this? Oh, we got some, uh, we got some rewards. Oh. Okay. Huh. Oh, there we go. Whoa! What happened here? Okay, uh, I guess we could claim this. Not exactly sure what that was. Okay. Anyway. Coronation? That's out of the blue. What do you mean? What? I see. So that's what's been going on. No wonder things have been busy around here for some reason. I am undeserving of such kindness, but I'm truly grateful. You really need more confidence. Very well. Please proceed with the crowning ceremony. I mean, practically everybody said you were good. Traditionally, the royal crowning in Lutera is held by a place called Brilliant Ridge. It just so happens to be nearby. Hmm, okay. You said the crowning ceremony was Armin's idea? The coronation requires a priest. Please tell Armin that I'd like him to preside over the ceremony. Okay, good. I think we'll stop here. <laughs> I'm getting too tired. Sorry. We'll do this later. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And we'll continue on with this crowning ceremony. And until then, happy gaming. And as always, giant nice day everyone.